Hey, what's up? My name is Chris and welcome to Coding in Public. A bit of a different video today where I'm just going to talk about something and that is three things. One thing, the struggle, two, the joy or the relief. And then finally, I want to talk about AI. Don't turn it off. I know. All right. First of all, the struggle. I'm realizing that I'm not hitting the same kind of struggles I used to hit. The struggles I mean are like you get to a spot, you're not sure what to do with coding, and you have to go down some long rabbit hole on Stack Overflow and Google search and everything else, and you can't figure out what's going on. It takes hours, but then you finally connect with it. That struggle, I'm not hitting as much anymore. And I think the reason is because I just quickly prompt my way through something or ask a couple questions and kind of move on, but I'm not really getting deep into the problem. And often in the past, it might take me two or three hours to figure out something that now will take me 10 or 20 minutes. If it takes longer than that, I just move on. And I'm realizing that that's not a good habit. Secondly, I want to talk about the joy or the relief. And that is when you finally get something, not only is it like a good experience, but you also never forget it, right? I mean, how many of you remember a specific CSS class because it took you forever to figure it out and then you finally locked in and now you'll never forget that thing or JavaScript to reduce or something like that where once you got it, you got it, got it. But it required the struggle to really lock it into your memory. And then finally, I want to talk about AI and all of this. I don't get that same value when I just prompt my way through something or ask a couple of quick questions. So is it useless to use AI in learning? No, but I've realized that there's like a spot for learning that I, I've really found the value in AI. And that is, instead of just prompting my way through this specific problem, instead using AI more as like a senior dev helper. And what I mean by that is like, okay, let's think through the structure of what I'm doing here. What are the alternatives? What are the different values of each of these? Why this one over that one? Those type of questions I found are really helpful, mostly because I don't have anybody else to ask them to. And you might be the very same way. And I found that AI in that spot actually encourages learning. It encourages the struggle. It encourages thinking and then the joy and the relief and all of that. Now, of course, like there are variants. Uh, I took a class in college on speed reading. And one of the first things they taught us is like, you should not read everything the exact same speed. In fact, you need a slow speed and you need a fast speed. And if you try to mix them up, it'll make both worse. So you need to know when to slow down and not try to speed through something and really catch, capture every single word and take time and pause and write notes in the sidebar. And you also need uh, stuff when you're reading that you're reading at uh, 800, 1,000 words a minute as fast as you can, and you're just trying to get the major ideas. And I think AI is similar. If you use AI the same way everywhere, you're probably not using it well. What you really need is to know, when do I slow down ask it careful questions, think through the possibilities, think about like more conceptual things, let it guide me on like, here are the five different ways we could do this. And then I might take a little Google search trend and I might go down Stack Overflow. I might ask somebody I know and say, okay, now here's kind of what I'm thinking. Is there anything I'm not thinking about? That's the time to use AI in a slow way. But you could also use AI in a fast way. And that would be just saying like, I just need a quick UI. This is a prototype. It doesn't matter. You just need to know when to use what type. And if you're using fast AI when you should be using slow AI or slow AI when you should be using fast AI, then you're probably not quite zoning in on what you need it for. So that struggle, the relief, and then also using AI in the kind of the right way, the right speed I found has been really helpful in my learning journey. And that's really what I wanted to talk about today. Okay, well, hopefully that was helpful. I don't usually do these kinds of videos, but I didn't have a way to talk about this somewhere else besides just blabbing on a live stream. So hopefully you forgive it. I'll catch you next time. Happy coding.